it's like literal gold. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And if it is Mother's Day today, I want to wish my mom a happy Mother's Day. And I also want to wish you guys like tell your mom if you're a mom actually happy mother's day and if you haven't spoken to your mom now is the time now is the time don't don't wait until it's too late but i just want to wish everybody a happy mother's day and this is a perfect way to just sit and unwind and talk about skincare if you want to give your parents with anything give them with some form of skincare something that is going to let them feel amazing great about themselves and you don't have to give your mother a gift on mother's day you can give her a gift anytime okay and uh, yeah we're just yeah we're just gonna get straight into the video because today is going to be a skincare video i'm going to be trying three products that i got from um yes style yeah yes so i tried some of these products yesterday i was about i think i was going to post this video but i decided let me just try them again just because i have an idea of how one of the products work and one of the products i don't necessarily necessarily like it but i just i decided that i'm going to do the video again and try to do it my way not how they want you to do it but my way because how they want you to do it is a little bit dangerous so this is what we're gonna be doing so if you want to see what i have to talk about yes guys don't forget to like guys comment and subscribe and i'm just going to give you a few minutes to just comment right now if you're watching this video right now i'm encouraging you just to leave a comment you don't even have to say anything just to say jody hi i've been watching what's up you know what i'm saying yes just to leave a comment i really need the comment portion you know so it encourages youtube to promote my videos and so forth but just comment because we need that and um, yeah we're going to go in with the first product first new product that i got and this one is the good all it's the good all i don't know if my hands are like dry but guys if my hands are dry ignore it okay i'm going to moisturize it after because I just came out, of the, came out of the shower. But this one is the Good uh, Good All Vegan Rice Milk. It has hyaluronic acid, um, hyaluronic acid, glycerin. It has some chlorophyll, oh, soy milk and rice extract. And then it has panthenol, ceramide, tocopherol. Tocopherol is an antioxidant. Ceramide is a hydrating um, ingredient that encourage your skin to produce barrier protecting forces <laughs> yeah that's ceramide so it has good ingredients and i love the consistency this is the consistency my hands are dry so let me just kind of hydrate that a little bit nice and moisturized okay so let me just show you the consistency of this it is very thick liquidy it is giving me the same vibe as the Kazir um Kazir hyaluronic acid serum but this has no fragrance so i am i'm loving this it has no fragrance it's super hydrating and nice and i'm going to apply it right now to my face because my face is super dry so i'm just going to go in with a cotton pad i'm just going to take it all over my face i really don't need to use cotton pads but i'm so stuck in my ways sometimes so let me just take it across the face be as gentle as possible and so forth yes guys this is the face nice and hydrated i really love this toner so far it's not going to be in my skincare routine for this month maybe next month because i still want to finish the one that i'm using so i can have a good idea but it's good to just try out the products to figure out what i'm going to cut or try next in my um in the months to come but it's very hydrating but first let me go in now with the next product okay guys so this is the product that we're going to be using as i said i have used it already in a video this is the gold thread face mask from Pest pestle road pesto plus road that's the name of the company yes essence of ancestors wisdom and they said it contains hydrolyzed um collagen and hexapeptide too so yeah 
So the main ingredient is water and then right after water is a type of alcohol, polyvin polyvinyl alcohol, alcohol denate glycerin, mica, titanium dioxide, acrylate, xanthome, yes, and uh, some other things, maybe chlorophyll, leaf extract, glucose, um, fragrance, it's at the, the top of the ingredients list. It's basically almost like a 10 ingredient on the ingredient list. It has iron oxide, flower extracts, um, sanctum leaf extract, other leaf extracts, turmeric, uh, another thing, tin oxide, and a lot of ingredients, rose flower extract, tocopherol, antioxidant, hydrolyzed um, collagen, avocado protein, gold, hyaluronic acid, sodium hyaluronate, um pinus pinsta bark extract biotin it has biotin and hyaluronic acid and all of those ingredients potassium hyaluronate and so forth but this is how it looks here so i'm just going to full here with the product like so and then what we're going to do now we're going to apply it to the skin all right so I'm going to start right here. Wow. Do you see that? Look, it's like literal gold. Yeah. But what I did yesterday and what I'm not gonna do today is to apply it for 30 minutes. They said to apply it for 15 to 30 minutes, but I am not going to Because I don't even think it's safe. Well, if you, even if you apply it for 30 minutes What should I say now? If you apply it for 30 minutes, I'm not gonna peel it off like no one thing I can tell at the initial stage is My eyes is kind of literally it's kind of burning not burning burning, but I can feel a heat sensation so maybe it has so much fragrance. Let's finish applying this. It's very cold now. But from, from the get-go, with this product, I don't know if I said it before, but it's a kind of product that you would use if you want to have fun with your friends or just to try something. You can try this. But this is what how I'm going to apply it. You have to keep it away from your eyes. And here, I, I don't want to apply it there because I don't know. Last time it just felt it was hurting here. Maybe because I have like a lot of hair right here. Peach fuzz. But I'm going to leave it for 15 minutes and then come back to you, okay? Alright guys, so this is us. It's not completely dry. It's dry around here. It's not really dry here. And it's still a little bit wet here. So what I realize is this mask, it dries in areas of your face that are, it dries quick in areas of your face that are super dry. So right around my mouth, it's super dry. So I think it's easier to dry. The product is easier to dry here. But right here is the combination. This is where the combination comes in. Here is a little bit more oilier than here. So this is the reason why it's taking so long to dry right here. And then right here is also dry sometimes and a little bit weird. So that's the reason why we have this amount of dryness. But what they're saying is that we should peel it off, like rub it and peel it off. But I am not going to, well, let me just, let me try something. If it's painful, I'm not going to do it. Cause the first time I did it, it was a little bit painful. Okay, let me try this. No, I'm not going to do it so. It painful, it hurt, it hurt me. No, I'm not going to do it so. So what I did, I wet um, a piece of, uh, what's this again, napkin, and I'm going to wipe it off. I'm not going to strip it off like that. Because, mm -mm, not going to work. And look at, this is weird too. <laughs> even with this, the wet wipes, it's not even coming off. So I guess that's all. This is also a feel. The only way I can do this is to wash it off. Oh, but okay, maybe I can actually wipe it off. Well, so far, guys, um, this mask I don't really like the fact that I have to um, peel it off. Like mm -mm, that not gonna work. 
Washing it off is fine. But peeling peeling it off? Mm, no, no ma'am. Alright guys, so we're trying to get it off with the but it's not working. So I'm gonna wash my face. But I'm not gonna peel this off, like it's dangerous. If it's going to benefit my skin, it's going to benefit my skin without me peeling it. So I'm gonna be right back. Let me just wash my face off. Okay guys, I just rinsed my face. I'm gonna dry my face off. I am not a fan of these kind of masks. These gold. I think they're gimmicky and they're like for TikTok and those things. So I wouldn't like repurchase something like this because it's not like something that I would want in my life. And based on the instructions, I don't think that it is. I don't think you should be lifting this thing from off your face from your neck to your forehead. They're like, how to use? Apply the lifting mask starting from the neck up to the forehead. Why would you even put this on your neck? Cause it, it would be, it's going to be painful and it's going to cause, eventually cause wrinkling on the skin. And um, what else? It says wait for 15 to 30 minutes. I would say 15 minutes and then, they said wait for 15 to 30 minutes and carefully peel off the mask like to peel off the mask is very very painful and i don't want I, i'm not gonna do that if i was supposed to create a mask like this i wouldn't i wouldn't you know put it in the peel off form i would create a mask like this that is going to have like hydration sitting on your face in the form of like a silicone um silicone like texture but not with the, the, the aggressive or the abrasive peeling off energy. But I not not really a fan of this. Like I wouldn't even recommend this to anyone. So I wouldn't really repurchase this based on how it feels. So guys, I'm drinking some green. This is um matcha uh green tea. It is what should I say now? Matcha latte. So it has soy milk, banana. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is good quality matcha. Good quality matcha. I'm going to go in with the toner right now just because my skin feels dry. Same good all vegan rice milk that is in a liquid form or yeah clear so it's not like milk milk milk. I'm going to apply it with my hands. I'm not going to apply it with a cotton pad and I'm just going to pat my skin. Mm. Yeah just going to pat the skin. So just patting the skin so that's that so one thing i would definitely based on how it feels and just the experience i would definitely repurchase this and this is going in my skincare routine for next month so you might see this in the skincare routine for next month so i'm gonna put it up right now so so far i would give this out based on my first impression or the second impression that is i would give it a an eight or a nine out of ten because I'm not going to give any product a 10 out of 10. So I would give it a 9 out of 10 based on the experience. This is a good old vegan rice milk. This now, I would give this a 4 out of 10. Just because I think that the product itself, if it didn't have fragrance and if it wasn't that peel off vibe, it would have been maybe a good product. Just formulation and so forth and just the technique and the technology that they're using. I don't think this is like, you should be using things like that on your skin. I'm gonna drink some more. Oh, this is so good. So, alright, so I just used two products. Now I'm gonna use this one. This one is in my empties and my neutralize. This one is uh, the Usual Essence Vital Vitalizing um, Pump. Yeah. So, this is like Usual. Usual es Essence. So, it's Citrus Junus Fruit Extract. So, I'm gonna take one small pump here, another one here. So, two pumps. And I'm just going to apply it to my skin just so that it can be. And the smell of this, it smells like yuzu. It smells like yuzu. Do you know yuzu, um, the citrus fruit? Mm -hmm. That's exactly how it smells. So this is supposed to be used in the daytime because it's a vitamin C serum and it's very hydrating. I, I don't necessarily if it's wind if it's summer during summer I don't necessarily have to go in with a moisturizer. This is very hydrating, extremely hydrating. All right, but we're going to go in with our caffeine solution from the ordinary because as I said before, this is a daytime routine. It's daytime now. It's literally twelve o'clock. 
So it's literally midday, 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 midday. Let me just moisturize that under my eyes. All right, so that's, that's that. Good. And then the next thing we're going to do, I'm gonna add a little teeny bit of moisturizer just because I know that I should add moisturizer. A little bit, just a little bit, maybe under my mouth right here. Cause that's where I get like really dry. And then whatever is left on my hand, all over the face. But as you can tell, this serum is super hydrating. And uh, if it's in liquid, if any vitamin C ingredient is in liquid form, you're not gonna get pure vitamin C. You're gonna get a vitamin C de de derivative. So if it's in water, then you're gonna get a vitamin C derivative. But I think this one is, I'll share the percentage on screen. But so far, so good. Right now, I'm gonna go in with this one. This is a new product. This one is the Face Republic um, Purity Sun Essence. All right? A nice um, sunscreen. So this is how it looks. Very small, it's like 50 ml, lightweight. Um, SPF 50 PA plus 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 four pluses. Extra lightweight without white cast. Waterproof vegan formula. 50 ml. We're going to see if this is, um, this is, uh, what did they say? Lightweight without white cast. If it's if it's lightweight without white cast, I will definitely see it on my skin. All right. So let's try. So this is the consistency. It's very white and milky literally like milk or glue I should say like Elmer's glue it's literally like that white so I'm gonna take some right here right here a little bit here and a little bit here on the forehead all right all right guys as you can tell white cast this SPF is like literally it's not my favorite it is my favorite SPF no white cast whatsoever no no let me take a picture because sometimes when you take a picture it can show you if you have white cast no no i'm gonna take a flash photo literally no white cast that's awesome that is amazing I love this. So this is going to be my new SPF because as you know from my previous video, my skincare empties and neutrals, I told you all the products that we were going to be using. It, it includes this one. This one is the Yuja Skin uh, Skin Essence. And then this one is also going to be in my skincare routine. This one is the Face Republic Purity Sun Essence that I just applied to my skin. I'm going to add that to my skincare routine. This one, mm, this is a 4 out of 10 for me just because I don't really like peeling off anything off my skin. Like, no. I think that can irritate the skin. This one is a 9 out of 10 and the reason why I gave it 9 is because I don't like to give products 10 out of 10 because yeah, but it's very hydrating, feels really good on the skin and so forth and it's vegan. And also the cleanser is the moisturizer vegan too. Yes, this is also vegan. So we have two vegan products. So if you are into vegan products, try those. I think this is also vegan, the Abib. Not really sure, but I think it's vegan. This one is no, I don't know if this is vegan. This is nowhere near vegan. This is just something that I would, I would not recommend. Matcha. Okay guys, so this is it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed trying out these products close to me. But this is the skin looking nice and so forth. What I need to... This is the reason why currently I have so many like vitamin C and brightening ingredients because as soon as I go in the sun guys, I start to tan. Like that is me. That is my skin. And it's not only my skin. My knees are like that and my feet are like that. And my hands are always struggling when it comes to hyperpigmentation like this winter did my hands really bad i'm trying my best to bring it back and so forth but my hands are easy to pigment to, to get like hyperpigmentation it's always dark during sub winter months right in, in summer it's better because my hands are not in a lot of hot water it's actually in cold and it, it's always hydrated my legs are also like that it's easy to pigment not my leg 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 my foot my foot actually 
it. It's very too easy to pigment. So during summer, when I'm wearing slippers, my feet are going to be darker, like pigmented. Yes, so my face, my hands, my knees, and my feet. So I have to work really hard to get like vitamin C ingredients and so forth to apply to my skin to protect it. What I'm going to do this month or in the months coming, I'm going to use the vitamin C in my body lotions, you know, just to see if it can protect my skin while I'm wearing my SPF, you know what I'm saying? So that's just one little new project that I'm going to try and do, the night, the ordinary 100% vitamin C. I'm gonna try that on my legs, my feet, foot, my hands, and my knees. So, yes. But this is it for us, guys. Hope you liked the video, and see you in the next one. And guys, the next video is going to be, the next video that I'm going to post is going to be a Japan vlog. I've been loving these vlogs and so forth. You're not going to get a lot of vlog this month, but the month of, month going into August, you're going, July, end of July, going into August, you're going to get a, a lot of vlogs. And I'm going to do a lot of things. Um... God's willing because I can't like speak on things that I don't really know but God's willing we're going to have a lot of fun but guys like share subscribe let me know what you think about today's video and see you in the next one bye bye